Hello everyone, it is Wami here with a brand new series and today we are starting Mario 64. One of my favorite games. I played the remake on the Nintendo DS. I know this version on the N64 has less features, but the original just sounds so exciting and vibrant to play. Because uh, it's like... It's like playing that old game that you get that feeling like, this was made before I was born. And it was. And it just, it really, you know, it gives me that those cool feelings when I play it. Like, I'm playing an older game than me. So, uh, yes, I already know how to play, and I have my Xbox One controller synced up to this. And... Let's talk to Lakitu. Good afternoon, the Lakitu Bros here, reporting live from just outside the princess's castle. And that was my cat. That is Emma, my albino cat. Okay. Mario has just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. Now, in this game, the reason it is the first three-dimensional three Mario game, like the explanation they gave us, is that Lakitu is recording Mario. So, everywhere you go, Lakitu is recording. That's why it makes actual camera noises. And that was Bowser talking there, telling me to leave, because, you know... If I wasn't here, nobody could save the princess, and, you know, he could... Just have whatever he wants. So he doesn't want me in this castle, but... I'm gonna start by fighting the big bomb mom on the summit. Now I know a few shortcuts to get to the bomb mom faster. So let's take these shortcuts. One is in this patch of grass here. And you'll go to the patch of grass that's closer to the mountain, which is a big help. My cat is biting onto my headphone cord. No, no, you need to go. I'm sorry. Okay. As I was saying, the, uh, the, the, these are bombs. Oh, oh, balls. Okay. So I'm just going to speed run myself up this mountain because that's the only thing I have to do. So now I'm going to go in here, and it takes me to the other hole that is farther up the mountain. And then there's the big bomb mom, this Monopoly mustache-looking guy. So he's the big bomb mom, lord of all blasting matter, king of kabooms, the world all over. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my imperial mountaintop? You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp. And you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me on to this royal turf? I think that you cannot. So he just told us how we beat him. We have to go behind him and throw him. Which is the punch button, which for me that's B. So we have to do that to him three times. This is the easiest boss in all of Mario 64, obviously, because he's the first one. But it's to the point where he can't do damage to you. It doesn't matter how many times you mess up. You are not going to die to him unless he throws you off the mountain. But there is a rematch you have to fight him win with, and that is a lot tougher. So he's he was locked on to me, so I waited for him to... Ooh, I messed that up. So I'm going to circle around him again, and throw him, and that should end him. There we go! So we just defeated the bomb bomb, and we got our first star. Now I believe to get to Bowser, you have to get 12 stars. Uh, in these video segments, we're gonna get a few stars each video, and we're gonna end with like, I think 72, something really high. Okay, so... We just got our first power star. That was a good run. So I'm going to save and continue. Let's hop back in the painting. 
Now we're going to have a foot race with Koopa the Quick. So let's get this on. There's Koopa right up there, but before we do that, I'm going to get the cannons up. Because these will help when I go to get the red coins later. So I'm going to race him. When is he was like... Oh, oh, I'm faster than you, Mario. But, you know, he may be faster, but... I know my stealthy shortcuts way better than he does. So he shows up at like a minute something. So yeah, we made it with plenty of time. 48 seconds, that was a good run. <clears throat> so you know, while we're here, I'm just gonna climb the flagpole. And I'm gonna do a little handstand and jump down. Oh, that did damage. Well, now we just wait for Koopa the Quick because we already got here. And he's right there. There he is. Now I wish it gave us what time it takes him. Well, he's gonna give us a power star for winning. I don't know how he got a power star, but he did. But, you know, doesn't matter. It's ours now. So I'm gonna save and continue, and we're gonna keep enjoying this game. So now that we have two power stars, let's go to the room up here with the number one. Now this was in the DS where you could change your character, and you started as Yoshi, and you actually had to unlock Mario. I remember I was stuck on this game back in DS, and then on this, the one in the right was a painting. That one. Yeah, see how I can like go in it? Let's try that again. And this is the princess's secret slide. There's a one-up on this slide. I'm going to try to grab it. It'll work well, give us an extra life. Nope, oh, I'm, I missed it. It's fine. There are two one-ups. So... Second one's up over here somewhere. So, like, now here's the star. Doesn't matter, let's get this power star. I thought there was a mushroom back there somewhere, but it seems like maybe you have to grab the mushroom on the slide to get it? I mean, it's fine though, we've got plenty of lives. So let's save and continue. Now, now we've got three power stars, so we can enter this room with the three on it. Which, this happens to be one of my favorite worlds, it's like the ice-ish world. Uh, I, I don't know what it's called. I th it's, it's the one where there, there's like a penguin. There's lots of penguins. I, I really like it. Penguins are nice. Cool, cool mountain. Slip sliding away. But yeah, let's do that. My cat is biting on my sleeve. 
Okay, oh my. Somebody help me. Uh, I don't want to push it away and then have PETA sue me. I mean, I'm not dumb enough to taste a dead rat, but... Ah! Stop it! I I'm not gonna hurt my cat. What did I just do? Oh my, I'm sliding backwards! Watch out for my butt! Yeet! Ooh. Oh my. This is gonna hurt. That's gotta hurt. Ow, Mario. You got some ice burns. Don't you, bucko. Okay, so now we gotta slide without falling on our butts. So let's go slowly. Slowly get it. Last time I did this, I fell off. Okay. There we go. Slip sliding away. Lil Penguin Lost. Okay. I'm gonna see if I have enough time to do this one, but at the 14 minute mark, I'm probably... Okay, ne never mind. I'm not even gonna do Little Penguin Lost, I'm actually just gonna hop down the slide and race the one penguin. There! I'm ready to go. I almost made it. I'm making each one of these episodes about like 14 and a half minutes long. But, um... Yeah, we got four power stars. That's... That's a good start. So... Why don't we go around and unlock all these doors for next time. Okay, this is, uh... This is the one where you fight, like, the concrete dudes, and, like, the thwomps, so that noise in the background is just my garage door, which is underneath the room I'm recording in, which happens to be the most quiet room in the house. I just didn't think anyone be, would be opening the garage door. I mean, they open it unnecessarily often. But, nonetheless, oh, there it goes again. Okay, that's the water level. And there is a one-up in this one, I think. There we go. That'll be useful for next time. Okay, here's Toad. The names of the stars are also hints for finding them. They are displayed at the beginning of each course. You can collect stars in any order. You won't find some stars, enemies, or items unless you select a specific star. After you collect some stars, you can try another course. We're all waiting for your help. Okay, I hear you, Toad. That's nice to hear. So... I'm going to... Try to go in here. Oh, I wonder what's in here. Okay, this is just the empty fountain. and Usually there's like... I think you have to beat Bowser the first time, but then, like, you can go to, like, the booze island, like, like, not like alcohol, I mean, like, the, the, the ghosts, they're called booze. So, like, we can go to that island as soon as we enter the big star door. Let's check how many there are, just to be sure, before we can go in the first door. Okay, it takes eight stars. That was less than the DS version, because it took eight to get to Mario, and then you had to get four more. Okay, so now we know we have to get eight to go into that door. That sounds like a plan. So, this is about time I wrap up part one of Mario 64. So, goodbye everyone. Woo me out. Have a great day.